Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math is Fine. I am Teacher Shea Wheel. And for those who are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, and click the notification bell so that whenever I uploaded a new video, you will be notified. Stay tuned! Our lesson for today is all about reading and writing decimal numbers through ten thousands. Are you ready? Okay. Alexa was asked by her mother to buy 5.50 kilograms of beef in the market. How do we read this decimal? To answer our problem, use the place value chart to help you read the number. This is our place value chart. On top, it is a place value and down is our number. So, decimal point, we read this one as N. If we're going to read a decimal number, we're going to read from left to right. Then, we're going to say the place value of the last digit. So, 5.50 is a decimal number in standard form. It is read as 5 and 50 hundredths. To understand better our topic, we will have some examples. Read each number in the chart below. In reading numbers, we are going to read from left to right. If there's a whole number, we're going to read the whole number first, then decimal points we read as ends, then for the decimal numbers, we read as if reading whole numbers, then we're going to say the place value of the last digits. Just like for this first example, we read this one as 6 and 459 thousands. For the second number, we read this one as 8 and 52 hundredths. And for the third number, we read this one as 7 tenths. If we don't have a whole number, we don't need to read the decimal point as tenths. We go directly to the decimal number. Just like in our example, our decimal number is 7. And the place value is 10, so we read this one as 7 tenths. This is the way how we're going to read decimal number. Okay, we have another examples. In our examples, we don't have full numbers, so we're going to read directly to our decimal numbers. We read as if reading whole number first, then we're going to say the place value of the last digit. For the first number, we read this one as 5,834 ten thousands. For the second number, we read this one as 2,007 ten thousands. This is the way how we're going to read and write decimal number. Write the following in standard decimal form. Number one, four tenths. In our first example, we don't have the word end. So, it means that we don't have a whole number. So, we're going to write zero for our whole number, then decimal point, then four. So, we read this number as 4 tenths. Okay, another number. Another example. 6 and 5, 10 thousands. Okay, here we have the word and, so we have a whole number which is 6, and this is our decimal point. Then we're going to write 5, 10 thousands. When we say 10 thousands, it means that we have four digits at the right side of decimal point, but we have only one digit, which is five. So, what shall we do? We're going to write zero first, 
before 5. Okay, we write three zeros, then 5. We read this number as 6 and 5 ten thousands. Okay, another example. 97 thousands. When we say thousands, it means that we have three digits at the right side of decimal point. But we have only two digits, which is 97. So we are going to put zero first before 97. And we don't have a whole number, then we're going to write zero for a whole number, then decimal point, then 097. We read this one as 97 thousands. This is the way how we're going to read and write decimal numbers. If you like our video, just give me a thumbs up or click the like button. And if you are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Until next time!